Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is who? It is Rosie Rosette 2020. Pow. You, listen, this month is October. In, and in October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, ladies, I got my pink on. I got my pink t-shirt, all right? We have got to get the mammograms. I'm 52. I've had two or three. I never, I don't think I got any mammograms when I was 40, maybe in my late 40s. Yes, in my late 40s. But in my earlier 40s or whatever, no, I never, I never got any. I never got any. But I have, and thank God, crossing my fingers, I've been cleared. But that doesn't mean that I can't get any more. You know, you have to, especially over the age of 50, there's two things well, two things that I know about, I'm not a doctor, but two things that I do know about that people over 50, women, we need to get our um, mammograms. Men, they I guess they need to get checked for prostate, but men and women, we both need to get checked for colon cancer, okay? All right, that being said, let's talk about our girl, Nini. So, Nini, Nini is really... Um, she's doing some things. She's making some moves. Okay. She's selling her house. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I guess this one is better. Um, she's selling her house, her huge mansion, which I made a video about the other day. Right. And she's taking her time when it comes to dating, which she should. Which she should. Now, listen, Nene was with Greg for how long? For a long time because she had just, she was like in her 20s when they got together, right? She was literally in her 20s when they got together. I don't know why this won't um, come in. But she made it work. Now, that's one thing Nene did. She made it work. Thank you, Jasmine Brand for um, this picture. Look, Nene and Marlo kind of look alike, don't they? Uh-huh. Nene, Marlo, Cynthia, and Wendy, they are all very tall. Did, did, no, Wendy didn't go to Greg's funeral because Wendy, that's a whole nother video. Now, I love me some Nene. I absolutely love me some Nene. And you know why I love Nene? Because she had the, the hustle, the get up and go. You know, she made Housewives of Atlanta. She was the star. Then she went on to other acting. And then what else did she do? She did a plethora of things. Now she um, she has a, a lounge, a restaurant and lounge, you know. But she's a go-getter. Now, I guess, you know, when, when Greg was down and out, she took over. She took over. They have this beautiful mansion. You know, she has a restaurant. She's traveled all over the world with Greg. You know, even though they got a divorce and then they got remarried, that's still love. She honestly loved him. Now, there were some rumors that, you know, she had her size and he had his. But still, she said, oh, no, I'm, I'm not leaving him. I would never leave Craig. No. And that's love. You know, we have our ups and downs. But when it comes right to it, we don't leave who we love. And I'm not, I mean, you know, uh, uh, if it's not detrimental to your health or your safety. Do you see what I'm saying? Nene loved Greg. Through the better and the worse. And again, they got a divorce, but then they got remarried. And she stayed with him until the end. And that's what you have to do when you really value a marriage. See, we don't see and understand that much because divorce is so easily to get. And again, they got a divorce, but they got remarried. And that's the beauty of it. And actually, I don't even know if that was real. Maybe, because I'm thinking maybe she wanted to get married on TV like Cynthia. But if it was, okay, fine. If it wasn't, okay, fine, too. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
but you know, Greg started out being the the money winner. Mimi ended it. And that's what you need. You need a partner where, you know, I just did a video about protection. We need men who are protecting, who's protective. Greg was Mimi's protector, okay? Oops, excuse me. When um, Real Housewives of Atlanta first came out, I just had never seen... I just never seen a couple like Mimi and Greg. And I don't know why. On TV. On TV. Greg was smooth with that beautiful brown chocolate smooth skin. Ooh, Bri I thought Greg was so handsome in that pretty hair. Um, but he was, so, everybody liked Greg because he was so sweet. You know, uh, what's her name? Nene was, you know, Nene, obnoxious and wild and everything or whatever. But Greg was... You know, he didn't need all of that attention. He was in the back. He was calculating that money because he had to make sure that him and his were taken care of. You see what I'm saying? And he had to make sure, you know, that Nene maintained that certain lifestyle to stay on the show. Let's let's just keep it real because, you know, I did see some pieces where they had to change addresses a couple of times and ain't nothing wrong with that hey we all got to struggle we all go through it or whatever but still greg held it together and when he was no longer able to provide at the level for her to you know appear you know to keep up with the jones joneses she took over you see what i'm saying she took over so then you know when she leveled up even more then here comes that big mansion that they paid for okay now i don't know for cash or whatever but still they paid for they bought it they purchased it they didn't rent it out they didn't lease it no she purchased that and that's what you do that's such a beautiful story for them to come up you know um first he was a breadwinner and then she became the breadwinner and she stayed with them until his dying day and that's how it's supposed to be done. That's what I'm talking about, protection. So now after, you know, Greg has gone, now Wendy, not Wendy, I'm sorry. Nene is getting gentlemen callers. You see, when you're true to the end, you're true and blue to the end, through the thick and thin, that's how you're blessed. Should we... She was with him through thick and thin. Now, what they both had on the sides, they kept it off camera. That's the respect that needs to be had and understood and heard when you are married. I'm not advocating for side pieces or anything because you know I don't get down like that. But if you do, keep it off of the camera. Keep it out of the, you know, tabloids or social media or whatever. What you do, you do in private and you don't let that come up no matter what. You do not let that those side pieces interfere with your main dish. No matter what. If so, And I'm not advocating for, you know, cheating or anything. I, Lord knows I don't like that. I will not partic participate in something like that. As a matter of fact, someone hit me up in my inbox asking me to go to dinner. There's nothing wrong with asking me to go to dinner, but he broke up with his girl who I know, her and I weren't close, but we're close enough. I don't, I wouldn't do that. And he's like, well, we broke up. I understand that. But still, that's not a part of my character to go behind somebody's back. And once you guys break up, I date him. No, I'm not into sloppy seconds. Anyone can tell you that. But see, a lot of people don't respect. And they weren't married, but still. that No, I don't. Mm -mm. That's just not. That's not my MO. That's not my MO. No, no. Now, you know, if I didn't know her or whatever, well, he probably still wouldn't have got a date or whatever because uh, that's just me right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if it's if it's disrespectful to hit up Nene and her, her husband ain't even cold in his casket. 
Yeah. Like, what people have, like, people just aren't raised right. I mean, did anybody raise their kids in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and 80s? Like, who does that? Who contacts somebody right after the husband or the boyfriend dies? Just like with Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London. When was it? I Excuse me if I'm wrong. Is it Kodak Black, allegedly? You know, he was hitting up Lauren Nutt, Or he made a, you know, he made a reference to how beautiful she is, whatever, which she is. But everybody got on him like, oh, no, no, you will not. I think T.I. did. You will not disrespect her. Knowing that her boyfriend just died. Well, Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? If it was Joe Blow, I'm sure T.I. wouldn't have said nothing. But it was Nipsey Hussle. And they got on him. I just think it's a little disrespectful for men to come after Nene so soon. I'm not saying she won't ever date. Because she will. Greg said for her to go on. And I'm hoping she hasn't gone on. But if she did, you know, it's a little too soon or whatever. It's just have some class about it. You know, have some class about yourself. Don't have, you know, when I was young, you know, my grandmother, she was a socialite. So it was all her friends. She told me everybody's business, blah, 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 blah. But it was one friend. Okay. I'm not going to give a name. I'm just going to say he was like the first black referee, I think, in the football league. Anyway, there's building named after him in San Francisco. I'm just going to put that. Anyway, <clears throat> his wife died. Then a couple months after my the wife died, the girlfriend shows up. And sooner or later, they get married. I'm like, well, who, who? my grandmother, her friend passed away in Langston. Soon after her girlfriend died, my grandmother married the husband. I said, ooh, ooh, honey, honey. But I guess that's what they do because this girl on Facebook, she told, I mean, you know, she said it that that's how she met her man because I think they lived in the same building or something. And when he broke up with his girlfriend or the girlfriend passed away or whatever she slid right on it i said oh honey okay well i guess that's how they're doing it not me no no not me and i i i don't think that um it would be it would be advantageous to it wouldn't be beneficial to nene to jump into a relationship right now like i think if she's allegedly not already in one uh, I just think that, you know, she needs to go ahead and emotionally go through what she needs to go through, you know, sell her house and move on. Because I think a relationship right now, if she's not already in a legend, um, that's, uh, to me, that would be a little too much. But who am I? N Nini has moved mountains, moved mountains. Um but I wish her well. I, I know that I, I don't, I don't, it, it's just going to be a little weird to see Nene not being with Greg. If she ever, you know, enters into another relationship, it was just that because everyone loved Greg. You know what I'm saying? Just like a, a good friend of mine, a best friend, her husband passed away. Okay. They have been together for 24 years. Like, you know, half of her life uh, you know we're both in our 50s now then you know she wants to tell me um about the new one i said oh no i can't do it. no i don't want to hear about it i i can't do it i just know i no, i'm not the one you need to find somebody who you really don't know not, not somebody who was there when y'all met who was in your wedding you see what i'm saying no, I mean, her husband and I, you know, we didn't have the best relationship, but he was her protector, you know, and if I needed him, he would be my protector. He was an old guy, but still. Um, and that's what she said. She said, I miss his protection, but I can't, I, I just, I'm not the one to, I'm not the one to um, 
advocate for sides and ah. But the, and then after someone you know passes away and someone jumps into a relation, ah, no, no, not me. I no, honey, save that for somebody else. You know how there's some things you don't tell your grandparents or your parents or something. That's one thing. I no, keep those details to your little friends. I I, I don't want to know because it's not disrespectful, but it's just like, oh my God, really? Okay, you know, it is a little disrespectful to me. To me, but who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Just Rosie Rose at 2020. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.